Ever wondered what's inside one of these Lectron NACS to CCS adapters? Well, wonder no longer because we're going to tear one apart. Adapters are necessary because in North America, anything that's not a Tesla has this connector on it at the moment, but everybody is moving to this connector. Now, quick merch plug if you want. Merch that looks like this shirt right here, you can find that on the merch store, but let's just dive right into the connector. Now, the first thing I needed to do was get my hands on a second Lectron adapter so that I could take one apart and have one for reference. Also, we have a number of other adapters here so we can reference those as well. And voila, we have the inside of the Lectron connector. We cut it in two sections so you can see what's going on here. Here we have the NECS inlet side. Over here we have the CCS outlet side. Now, this is possible because modern Teslas and all the new vehicles that are going to have this connector on them, these are all using the exact same communications protocol that CCS uses. And that is not the same protocol that we find in older Teslas. They use a CAN bus protocol, more similar to what we found in Chatamo vehicles. Also worth noting, the DC pins are swapped as far as their polarity uh, on an NACS inlet versus a CCS inlet. And that's why we have these big, huge, funky bus bars here. So they're basically taking positive and negative, swapping them across on the inside of the connector and sending them over there to that side. Then we have a tiny little circuit board in here. Not a lot going on. In fact, it's just connectors. That's mounted on the inside of this little area right there. And it simply has wires that attach the control pilot and the signaling and ground wires from one side to the other. Then we have these little connectors here. These switches tell the vehicle and the charging station you want to stop charging. And they're located underneath the physical latch mechanism on the inlet and the outlet side of these connectors. The adapters also use small thermal switches like this one. They're jammed right in the cavity next to the DC pin. When this gets too hot, it opens the circuit, tells the vehicle and the charger to stop charging. And that is all that there is inside one of these connectors. The most important thing to know here is that there is no logic on this board. So there's absolutely nothing inside this adapter that is truly communicating with the vehicle or the charging station. So the vehicle and the charging station have absolutely no idea which adapter you actually have plugged into your vehicle, whether it's an A to Z adapter, Electron, or even the original Tesla adapter, which is what Ford Rivian and now General Motors are sending out to their customers. Of course, GM also appears to be sending out some of these Electron adapters to Bolt owners. Let me know what you think about that, and if you want us to tear something else apart, let us know as well.